Hello. Today we're working on the second activity in the algorithms chapter called Adjusting Your Algorithm. Adjusting your algorithm, the goal is to adjust your algorithm to navigate around extra blocks. So all I've done here is taken um, the algorithm that we were using before, the right-hand rule, uh, but we're going to test it on some more complicated walls here to see if Byte can make his way around these more complicated walls. The general setup is still the same. We've got some walls. They're a little more squiggly now. And there are some gems on the other side of the walls. So we're going to need to pick up these two gems in this case. And then finally walk around this last third wall here to get to the switch, which defines the end of the puzzle. Toggle that switch. Okay, so um, we have some, we'll go over these three rules here in a minute that we may need to add to this, but it says down here at the bottom you can bring over your algorithm from the previous page to continue improving it. And then there's a little button we can tap that says copy my code from the last page. So if you got your right hand rule algorithm working in the last page, go ahead and tap this button here, copy my code from the last page, and that will conveniently bring in the code that you wrote in the last page here so that we can use it to build upon when we uh, work on this puzzle. Okay, So uh, maybe the first thing to do is to try what we wrote before just to see what happens. Okay, So uh, this looks like it should work fine here. Byte is along side a wall and he'll walk with his right hand along the wall all the way till the end then he'll turn around it and let's just follow him and see what happens here remember last time I'm just going to review what we had here we had a big while loop that said as long as we're not on a closed switch which is at the end here when we're on a closed switch we want to be done and uh, then toggle that switch when we're done Okay, so as long as we're not done, or as long as we're not on this closed switch, we want to keep doing this sequence of commands. And the sequence of commands says, if we're not on a gem, we want to keep navigating around the wall. But if we are on a gem, we want to collect that gem and turn around. Now, we won't be on that gem until way later here when we're on this tile here. So most of the time, we're going to be navigating around wall. So let's look at what navigate around wall says. Navigate around wall, this function right here says, if we're blocked to the right, meaning if we can put our hand out and there's a wall or a cliff to our right, then we just want to move forward. Okay. Uh, but if we're not blocked to the right, then we want to get back to the, to the wall by turning right and moving forward so that we can continue walking along the wall with our hand touching the right hand, uh, with our right hand touching the wall. All right, so let's give that a try and see if it works at all on this, uh, on this uh, puzzle right here or if we get it run into any trouble, okay? So I'm going to say run my code, and we're not on uh, the closed switch, and we're not on a gem, so we're going to keep navigating around the wall here. Here he turns to the right, this is good. Uh, turn to the right again, and, oh, okay. Well, now, Byte is still alongside the, the he, has a, he has a wall on his right-hand side, but he's blocked in front, and he keeps trying to move forward, okay? He keeps trying, because he's blocked to the right, he keeps trying to move forward. We've added a little complexity to our algorithm, so we may need to modify our navigate around the wall code here. Now, what's different that we haven't seen before here? Well, we are blocked to the right in this case, but we're also blocked in front. All right. Now, what looks like a good plan for what we can do if we're blocked to the right and blocked to the front? What do you think we should try to do? Yeah, it looks like if we turn to the left... If we turn to the left, that will get us in a situation where we're blocked to the right and not blocked to the front. Okay? Okay, so here, this is a special case of this right here. We're blocked to the right, but we're also blocked to the front. So in this little body of our code here, in this if statement, we know we're blocked to the right, 
but we can also check here if we are also is blocked to the front. If we're blocked to the front, then we said we want to turn to the left. Turn to the left. If we're not blocked to the front, then we want to keep doing this move forward here, right? So let's say else we want to move forward. Okay, let's read this again now. We're blocked to the right. We want to do one of two things depending on if we're blocked to the front or not. Okay, so we're blocked to the right here, and if we're also blocked to the front, then we want to turn left. If we're not, if we're just blocked to the right but not blocked to the front, then we want to move forward. Okay, let's try this now and see if this works better. Okay, we'll run our code again. We should get a different configuration of walls, slightly different. There we go, slightly different. This all works fine. We're not blocked to the front. But we're going to come up to a situation where we're blocked to the right and blocked to the front, so we turn left. Now we're just blocked to the right, so he keeps going fine. He's, here he's blocked to the front and uh, he's going to turn around because he collected the gem. He's blocked to the right. He was not blocked to the right, so he comes over to find the wall again. Working his way down, he's blocked to the front and to the right, so he turns left. This is looking good keeping his right hand along the wall and following along the wall. Long stretch here where he's not blocked to the front. Here he'll turn to the right. He's on a gem, so collect it, turn around. Keep uh, our right hand against the cliff there. Here we're blocked to the front and the right, so we turn left. That's good. Oops, got to keep our hand along the right wall here. Blocked to the front and left, good. Okay, it's going to stay blocked to the front and left, so he front and right, so he turns to the left. And he's making it all the way down to the switch, and now he's finally on the switch, so he toggles it. Okay, very nice. So we just made one minor change here, and the one minor change we made was to recognize that at certain places, like right here, that we would be uh, blocked to the right, which is good, and blocked to the front. And all we need to do is turn left to get ourselves so that we are not blocked to the front anymore, and that will take care of it. So inside our uh, if statement, inside navigate around wall, we just say if we're blocked to the right, then one of two possibilities exists. Either we're blocked to the front, in which case we turn left, or we're not blocked to the front and we just keep moving forward. Okay. Okay, this algorithm is evolving very nicely. It's very simple, but very powerful. It's allowing us to navigate around some very complex walls by just checking and making sure that our right hand is always able to be held against the wall. And if it's not, we move over so that it can be. Okay, all right, we'll see you next time.